Welcome to Healings and Meditations with Frank Jordan and the Earth Mind Think Tank Group. We welcome all listeners and chatters. Any questions can be called in to 1-775-657-5973. 1-775-657-5973. If you're in the chat room on Wolf Spirit Radio, which is wolfspiritradio.com forward slash wolf chat, please post questions in uppercase letters and capital letters. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Well, this is Earth Mind Think Tank Group, Frank Jordan, and coming to you live through the Wolf Spirit Radio System that is extending out around the world, becoming more and more influential to our thoughts, our force of mind, our intents, and our dedication to creating a difference in the world. And the difference is, it comes through our ability to tune into group mind consciousness and to resonate desire and will through the consciousness, through not only the lateral planes of the psychic grid, the soul grid, the earth mind grid, but over soul grid that we've created in the golden golden globe that we've created around the earth of protection. And our initial intent is always to reinforce that golden shield, the golden matrix that in the ionosphere that does keep us shielded from solar flares, invasive forces, thoughts coming from other levels of consciousness, negative thoughts. And now we are seeing some solar flares. There's a 55% chance that we'll see some electromagnetic disturbance today or tomorrow. And there's a magnetic flow that's it's supposed to hit us a glancing blow tomorrow and the next day. So we will work to strengthen our shield with that particular intent. The weather systems seem to be stable right now, the high pressure moving into the west. So there's generally sunshine everywhere. <laughs> East Coast has finally warmed up, and the sign out, and everything in between is going into the normal spring cycles. And so we can put a lot of goodwill and intent to those who have suffered through the, the hardships of this winter, and uh, while well, we had a relatively mild winter here in the West. But right now, let's look at the world condition and put our thoughts on what needs to be done to strengthen the power of our intent and uh, our thought form influence into the world governments, the opposition force, and anyone who would limit the advance and growth of consciousness, particularly that awareness of, that everyone is coming to of dominion. And we have a lot of help in that. We have the galactic flow that's setting a resonant field around us all the time with those, those impulses of higher consciousness from civilizations that, that have come before and leave that resonance in their passage in the, the wake of the the rings of consciousness that expand outward. Some call them the rays that uh, have gone before us in, in prior cycles of life, at least five prior cycles on Earth that, that I'm aware of, and civilizations that have come and gone. So every time we grow a little stronger, it lasts a little longer, and uh, the, the opposition force that comes in to to take us down if it can is getting weaker and that's what's occurring now the opposition force is by, backing off it's letting go of the financial structure of the world uh, the educational structure is shifting because more attention is coming to the true information being expressed someone has their mic on Walt can you turn your mic off, please? Thank uh, you. Mine was off. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, that being our intent, basically, we'll get right to it. The first thing we'll do is go to the earthquake grid. And there is a couple of major events, one in Mexico 
and one, um, I think it's in the Solomon Islands. So, so take your awareness now into your heads. We'll access the subconscious mind through our usual path of stepping right straight back from the frontal lobes of the brain where our focus of attention is now as we think and concentrate. You step back, letting go of the mundane activities of the world around you and the stresses of things that need to be done today. Step back into the, into the soul center, the, the unified soul center of all human consciousness that set up and created this incarnation so we can have the experience of being human in our physical body evolving and growing as we have in the past 26,000 years evolving through negativity trying out all things possible of the negative so that we learn on in our soul levels it, it because our soul levels on earth at this time many of them are, are very primitive this can be the first incarnation in this cycle of, of many souls and they come here to to mature to learn what not to do what doesn't work and that's certainly been expressed in the last 26,000 years through all the, the domination cycles we've experienced particularly in the last few thousand years and so we pull together in our group mind our intent to see the evolution of consciousness rise steadily progressing expanding consciousness as we learn and accrue our information, our lessons into the soul centers. Just feel that happening now. And feel your individual soul families. It's like a flow of energy that comes in the top of your head. When I see these things, it's, it's like a million strands of color coming down a million threads of color. Each strand is, is a human soul and it reaches out and touches someone, enlivens them, gives them consciousness, the intelligence of being human. And so feel your own color now and you feel your own color, your own strand in your heart. That strand activates, is activated through this spirit center in the heart so follow your own strand now observe its color because that will give you the level of your evolutionary presence what you learned and if you're into the lower darker frequencies it lets you know that you are growing with every every lesson and experience you're shifting the frequency ranges of your consciousness to higher and higher levels up through the chakra system until you reach the heart center. And if you see yourself as a green strand of energy, you know you've evolved to the heart level and ready to shift out of the lower ranges of, of the domination grid of the low self into the higher frequency ranges above the heart into the blue where we and as we evolve up through the heart ranges, we're learning love, unconditional love, and how to empathize and, and bring emotional, uh, emotional experiences into our life and to learn through our emotional experiences and interactions. And uh, as we learn and release and internalize those lessons, we grow higher and higher into the unconditional love realm and the communication system of the throat where we reach out and can share and resonate that unconditional love into the world and into individuals of our choice. Love being that galactic flow, the potential that simply surrounds us. And as we direct and focus on that force, we empower others and thus, because of our soul connections, we are ourselves empowered. So recognizing your color, just in this step back state now, recognize your color and desire to rise in a higher frequency. 
until you become a lighter, brighter strand in all the strands and threads of soul connections that we experience. And remember, your individual experience, that strand connects into the soul flow. I call it the family of souls, of which we are each individualized, but are all one. And so our, our experiences rise through our thread into the general consciousness of our unified family group. And there are many, many family groups through all the races and, and experiential consciousness that are in the world. But individualized, we are but one, but extensionally, we are all all sharing our experiences, all helping to create our reality. Now take a step backward from the soul center to the psychic center. And this is where your individualized soul can communicate directly with other souls in the world by putting your point of attention on anything or anyone, anywhere and picking up that resonance, that strand of energy that connects you through the psychic center to to everyone. Now take another step back deeper, and you enter the, the world of the subconscious mind, which extends down through your system. The subconscious is that, the delivery system that holds the form of all the information coming into your chakra system. And the chakra system, you can feel that uh, as we bring our attention to it now, the vibra ports resonating out from each chakra, just like as seen in a Karelian photography a photograph where you see a little radiant energies resonating out, touching into everything. And so the, this is what gives us a tune to, to everything in this world and, and in this solar system and in this universe and learning how to clear your systems, uh, how to tune into these strands is what gives us the access to the extended consciousness of everything that exists. And this is also what brings us into the resonance of the Creator by experiencing all things that exist around us, in us, about us. And through that attunement, the spirit center in the heart responds to our choice of experience, our free choice. It allows us to experience all things possible. And in the past, standing ways, that has been all things of, of negative potential, even as our higher conscious was prompting us to make right choice, to raise our vibrational frequencies, to learn by observing rather than participating in negativity of any form. Observe it, internalize it, the lesson, and release it. And you'll feel yourself rise constantly, becoming more wise, less tenuous, more focused on who you are and what you can create. Now, in that extended consciousness of the subconscious mind in the chakra system, feel yourself extend now down into the root chakra and downward into earth mind. Realizing as we do this, that as we go down, when we have sufficient clarity of, of clutter in our systems, as we extend downward, we're also extending upward into the oversoul. So put your point of attention there now and feel your upward expansion. And that's into the positive polarity of, that holds our, our resonance in form to the zero point. And as we extend downward, we're in the negative polarity, the female polarity. And between the female and the male polarities, expressing through the zero point all things come into form around us and we are the co-creators 
of spirit in that and through our directed intent we can alter all things around us in the standing ways of the future that already exist now drop your awareness down into earth mind and we take the intent into earth mind today to become more and more aware of our surroundings more and more aware of our psychic attunements opening the channels opening the grids of consciousness through the psychic center, through the subconscious earth mind grids, and into the past standing waves, which hold the record of our experiences and thus our lessons. This is commonly called the Akashic Records, because earth mind in its silicon dioxide crystalline consciousness holds the resonance of everything that ever happened to us. And now we can take awareness back in time in this radio program to the time when we created the golden grid in the ionosphere, manifested the grid to protect Earth primarily from solar flares or from the energy of Nibiru as it approaches. or any satellite intrusions, any asteroid intrusions. And this golden grid has the capacity to alter the geopathic, astropathic influences of the sun, such as the electromagnetic storms, gamma rays and things of that nature. It simply gathers them in, takes them around the earth and out the other side. And the intense solar flares, the the northern lights that we see, uh, is that in action as it is carried around and, uh, and out through the solar winds. So now we go to the earthquake grid with the intent of clearing the earthquake grid of potential buildup of intensity that can cause earthquakes and damaging tsunamis. We take our attention to Southern California, our point of beginning, and through our root chakras, extending our point of consciousness to Southern California through Earth Mind. We feel the intensity as we spread out laterally through the crust of the earth there. We feel the intensity of the minor earthquakes building up from earth movement stresses. And we lift that energy. We just pull it into ourselves. Since we're feeling it, we can affect it. Pull it up the spine. Remember, you are where your point of awareness is. That we are in Southern California along the San Andreas Fault and the lateral faults that extend eastward. Feeling earthquake stress build up, lifting that upper spines through the crown chakra, through oversoul into the ionosphere and as soon as you touch there you feel the golden grid we spread this energy through it evenly now move your awareness holding that flow move your awareness further north to San Diego feeling as we move northward up the San Andreas Fault System. <clears throat> we feel the ongoing accumulation of stress. Human stress, particularly in the Los Angeles area. And we gather that stress in the human stress and all the human problems. We gather those energies in a clearing like creating a cyclone 
that whirls clockwise upward, carrying the stress of city life and the function of humans upward into the golden grid where the stress is neutralized and transmuted into beneficial energy. Energy is never lost. It simply changes form. And we're going to make that our intent today as we travel around the ring of fire that any civilization centers we pass through, we lift the human stress and the human fear and clear it and transmute it into beneficial life force. We go northward now to San Francisco. And further north along the San Andreas Fault System to the Oregon Line, there's quite a bit of activity right on the coast where the San Juan de Fuca plate is beginning its subduction and where the lateral movement of the San Dan Andreas is transferred to the San Andreas plate, to, to the San Juan de Fuca plate. So the lateral force is translated into subduction force that lifts the cascade range. And from that point, move eastward to the California Nevada line, the Sierra Nevada mountains that are being created from an intense subduction plate that exists all through California. Lift that energy upward through ancient volcanoes and through the active hot spots like Mount Shasta and now Earth Mine is working with it, it's, it's getting the, the feeling so we can move more rapidly. Now move eastward to the Rocky Mountain Range, beginning at Las Vegas northward to the Yellowstone. There's ongoing cholera activity on the northwest side of the cholera, so lift that energy upward, draining the cholera of energy so it does not result in a gigantic explosion, a supernova, super eruption that's interesting when you tune directly into the hot magma the intensity of the and temperature of the magma is a reflection of the stress the stress energy which is simply can be released potentially and that's what we're doing now is carrying that stress energy of pressure upward and releasing it into the ionosphere. They create a gigantic plume of energy rising from the salt lake magna chamber and we make that permanent so that is established maintains we create and, and attract the devic forces that in the subtle energy fields continue this work for us and with us now take your awareness directly in eastward to Chalice, Idaho there's some new activity in fact, some pretty large earthquakes are occurring in that region now of, of the wilderness area of Idaho. Lift that upward, release it. And 
uh, come westward to the Cascade Range of Oregon and up through Washington. Ongoing minor activity reflecting the, the subduction zone. We harmonize that release through the ancient volcanoes, harmonizing. So it's an ongoing steady release of energy. Now we move northward to Alaska and the subduction zone of the North Pacific Plate plunging underneath the southern border of Alaska up to the Cook Inlet all the way up to Mount McKinley and today there is a new a new set of earthquakes on the western edge of the Brooks Range this is new activity it's very concentrated 3.6's all the way up to a 5 point this is near the coastline of Alaska we lift that energy upward and reach down to into the earth through the condition that's creating this ongoing activity and lift that upward that will be a volcanic reaction from deep activity now we drop over to southward to the Aleutian chain and the Aleutian trench where the North Pacific Plate is plowing under the, the Bering Sea and the Aleutian Basin. Ongoing activity constantly there, releasing through the active and ancient volcanoes. Lift that energy upward, coming all the way to the point where the Aleutian Trench encounters the Kamchatka Trench in Russia and it stretches southward to Japan and there's a new cluster of activity on the east coast of Japan all the way down to Tokyo some of these are the 5.2 magnitude release the energy from the subduction zone that, that created the uplift in the recent tsunami through the ancient volcanoes release clear that energy particularly that uh, just east of Tokyo We spiral these energies upward, carrying with it the radioactivity. The radioactivity being released, spiraling the radioactivity upward before it can be carried to the ocean or the air and polluting the ocean. Transmuting the radioactivity into beneficial energy. And we extend our awareness out into the Northwest Pacific Basin now and the pollution that is affecting life forms in the Pacific and we lift and transmute all radioactivity 
clearing the waters so it cannot affect life of any form. I'm being held, we're holding our attention on the entire Pacific Basin now. And we'll send healing, the flow of galactic energy to all life forms, healing energy now entering all life forms of the, in the Pacific Ocean. Helping their, their DNA to adapt, transmute, to resist the radioactivity. Now we want to reach out and pull in the goodwill and intent of every human who is on earth, who is aware of the radioactivity and the pollution in the Pacific Ocean through our soul centers of our unified human we direct the intent and healing energy to the Pacific to heal all species and that silky feeling you have is radioactivity Transmute that radioactivity as we spiral it upward into beneficial light form. And we feel the whole Pacific Basin side with relief. Now drop your awareness down to the Philippines, some coastal volcanic activity in the southern Philippines. Uh, underwater activity in the Saliba Sea. And drop down to the Indonesian Crescent, bordering the Java Trench. Release the subduction zone energy there. I take your awareness eastward to the Solomon Islands. Here there's a 7.5 southwest of Panguna. This connotates a major activity of explosive force of a potential volcano lift those upward. Now move your energy eastward to the Tonga and Fiji region, Fiji region. Some underwater activity there. Now southward down the Tonga Trench all the way to New Zealand. No activity at the moment, but drop into that extended system and clear the pressure that is always ongoing there. We transmute that into a harmonic flow, a steady release, so New Zealand will not be threatened with any major quakes in the future. And 
and move our awareness eastward to South America, up into northern Chile. It's continuing activity in Akurki. This is subduction zone activity. Release that. Let's create a harmonious flow there so those are releasing energies continually all the way up through the Peru Chile Trench that borders South America. And let that harmonic energy release through the Andes Mountains, the ancient volcanoes, and take your awareness northward to Central America, scattered activity in Guatemala, Nicaragua, and on the Southwest of Mexico City, there's a 7.2 at Tecpan de Galilina, Mexico. Lift that upward. Again, create the harmonious release. Of stress energy in that entire region. And move eastward to the Dominican Puerto Rico region, ongoing activity there from the subduction plate of North America Basin, release that energy upward. Now move eastward to the Mediterranean area and the eastern part of the Mediterranean Sea on the major fault line that extends through that entire region. There's a 5.0 south of Lera Petra, Greece and on through into southern Turkey. Now move eastward to western Mongolia. Some activity there in the Yuskoksia, Russia region. That's new activity. I take your awareness eastward to your point of beginning in the United States and move into the central region around Oklahoma where there's ongoing activity due to the fracking going on there. And let's put energy healing into the pollution that's caused in the groundwater by the fracking. Let's set that up to be a continued flow of energy coming down from the golden grid to neutralize the destructive residues left in the ground during the fracking operations. Now let's move eastward to Fairfield Bay, Arkansas. And further eastward to the New Madrid area.
and then further eastward to the Appalachian Mountains. Where there's activity at Sonora, Tennessee. And again, that is fracking to release gas. Now bring your awareness back to our point of beginning. And we extend our awareness into Earth Mind. And ask Gaia, Mother Earth, to show us any regions of the world that need our attention. And we're directed to the Sahara in Northern Africa. And the observation is that we have the potential of healing that vast desert, bringing back in normal cycles, uh, normal that extends back 15 to 20,000 years. So we just hold our attention on Algeria and the region bordering the Tropic of Cancer all the way through Egypt and we reach back in time to when that was an earthly paradise filled with water and animals and we see the energy fields now shifting to carry more moisture in from the Atlantic Ocean up through Nigeria and that region of Cameroon where it isn't that moisture is all dumped in the jungles but carrying northward cycling through the desert and we clear the thought form the high pressure region that sits over Algeria. That that hot spot was created there thousands, thousands of years ago. And we see that breaking down. The high pressure zone breaking down from the recycling of sun energy. So we put a shield over that a shield from our golden grid that allows the stress energy to release from northern Africa and the flow of moisture coming up out of the Angola Basin sufficient energy that the jungles are maintained at their present rate but the cycles carries the energy on upward into Algeria, Libya, Egypt, and the Sudan. You see the reestablishment of cycles as they were 20,000 years ago. We see this extending all the way through Saudi Arabia where moisture is created and drawn and what is creating this is the warming. The warming of earth is going to be bringing more moisture into the air so we're creating patterns of cycles that carries energy northward out of the Arabian Basin into Saudi Arabia and upward into Iran and we feel all the creatures reestablishing life that once roamed there The desert coming back into form 
and productivity to provide an excellent food source to the world and for a place where the population can migrate to and ease the population of Africa. This is a very intense energy that's coming into us now. It's bringing stability, clearing ancient patterns of stress, and doing it in a manner that's beneficial to all life and all the cycles of Earth. Now bring your awareness back to your own systems, up to your chakra system, to your consciousness center, and put your point of attention <clears throat> on the, the governments, the financial structure of the world, and we bring a flow of intent to direct to the opposition force, everyone who still exists in domination, who see domination breaking down and transmuting into dominion. As these people learn the lessons of the last 26,000 years and release the form, the form of negativity and domination, which we no longer need, for our evolution and transition into higher consciousness. We see the financial system stabilizing, the world re-evaluation of the currency supplies balancing. We see we see Iraq releasing its funds, its riches to the world. We take our attention now to the religion system set up to dominate the world. And we see the religious system shifting. No matter what religion or what region it's in, see it shifting to the understanding and expression of dominion so the churches, the religions truly do empower the people rather than suppressing them that they become the nurturers of people and populations that their wealth is distributed back to the populations the domination hole is released to the financial system of the religions. And we see the world become a brotherhood of all nations. We see one world of consciousness the evolutionary potential of expression becoming the new world grid of dominion. Now we, we empower our desire with the flow, of the galactic flow of energy. Feel our thought form expressing, expanding, encompassing all humans, all civilizations, all religions, all governments. Feel the empowerment coming through us 
and everyone listening to this program resonating around the world in our grid of consciousness of dominion. And so it is. And the world is responding to us. All right, bring your point of attention back into yourself. Come up your spine. Releasing the stress of the world, bringing nothing back into yourself of a negative aspect. Come back up now into the soul center. And release our intent again through the soul grid of the world that all humans respond to the influence of the galactic center in our golden grid to create life in dominion in the third moving from the third dimension of domination into the fourth dimension of time and space of dominion and so it is Take some time to deal with your own situations, to adjust your own life and reality by creating your dream, expressing your dream with energy that becomes fixed in the standing waves of your reality and the realities that you want to touch in the world. Expressing dominion, living in dominion, feeling wonderful and healthy and vital, and looking towards tomorrow's meditation when we'll work on rejuvenation, rejuvenating our organs, our lifespans. And whatever else Stephen has for us at that time. Come back out forward now and back into the present time and space. Feeling healthy and vital and pleased with a job well done. Okay, Dave, we're back. I had to unmute my mic two times. I was double muted. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, it, does anyone have any comments this morning before we close? Yeah, there's been a, re- a request that we send healing, encouragement, and strength to Bill and Eva to persevere until Bill gets released in September. It looks like. And so it is. Yeah, you know, there's a, there, there, then Bill can get released in Washington State. He's getting released back to Idaho. Which doesn't make any sense. None of it made sense. <laughs> Tell me about that. <laughs> all he did was exercise freedom of speech. He made a mistake. He... Mistake was trusting a goddamn lawyer. That's my personal opinion based on what I observed. Wait, Sylvia wants to request a healing for his mom. Can you do that this morning there, my friend Frank? Uh, who? Wait, Silva. Walter. Oh, Walter. Walt. Walt. I'm <laughs> sorry. All right, we can do that. You've got to put your point of attention on Walt. Through him, to his mother, wrap her in unconditional love and the healing energy that whatever her situations are, we see her coming back into 
health and vitality, clearing her of the, of the program, the problems of the past. Through the power of the consciousness, we see Walt's mother regaining her strength and vitality. And releasing the general depression that's suppressing her immune system. Releasing the fear of the new world she exists in. And so it is, we can do more <clears throat> tomorrow night when we get some large group of healers together too, Walt. Thank you. Thank you very much. That'll help you. All right. If there's no other request, Dave, you can cast us to the winds. I'll do that until tomorrow at 6 p.m. Mountain Time when you're back with Healings and Meditations. And here we go, Frank. Uh-huh. 